What's going? It's not live, but we are starting now. What's going on with everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Green Dungeon, giving it to you real raw, rugged. And I'm gonna let the person on Facetime introduce herself. Who we got? Hi guys, my name is Celebrity Comes. So usually on here, I'm like interviewing niggas. Now, like, I'm distracted. You got, like, the whole get up. You, like, in, like, oh, sexy get up or whatever. So, I'm a little distracted, man. Celebrity comes. Got, got them. Now she playing with the T. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. You know I just have on my little teddy. I walk around the house like this, so. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I'm going to get you the Like I said, man, I'm used to interviewing niggas. Now I got booty all in my face, man. This is <laughs> so it's a different type of interview right here. But uh, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. You say you like my bonnet. I'm glad you like my bonnet. You know what I'm saying? You like I said, I, I, I'm you got you got the all sexy get up. I got a goddamn bonnet on or whatever. We just two two different on the on the polar spectrum right now. But um, yeah, what you got going on today, man? Um, you know what? I I, I ain't shooting today. I ain't. You can say whatever you want. You just showed your booty. You, you showed your booty, but you think you can't say sucking the fucking like. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing. I ain't shooting nothing today. So today was just, you know, I look. I relaxing day. Actually, before you call out, I was about to get cooked because I had to make some dinner. Cook, start prepping for some dinner. So I was like, let me talk to him first, then I'll cook a little later because I don't want to be all here all bloated and everything. So what you finna cook? I actually you don't beat me up, but I had a theory that porn stars can't cook. I don't know where this came from, but y'all just look like y'all can't cook. You know what I'm saying? Is is, is am I wrong? You see how sick I am? I get it from somewhere, honey. So that's all real. There's no surgery or anything. This is all real. I recently had a breast lift. Mm. Okay. What's that? So what that is is when um, when my breast used to sag, you know, so I. So your breasts like sit up now? Yes, they sit up. Um, I don't have a bra on. It's not made to sit to your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? It's made to lift to look to be more natural. Cause you know, as life go on, for as ladies and things like that, you know, especially with weight loss, you, you gain weight, you lose weight. Your titties, gravity get the hit in your titties. So you know, you get a little lift to to get back to that right spot. So that's what I got. So are you happy with what your titties look like right now? I love my titties. Yes, Lord. Lord, yeah, they was horrible. <laughs> do, do you have any scenes before you got the lift? I do. And I wish they would just go away. <laughs> what was wrong? So you just didn't like how saggy they were? What's your favorite part of you, like on your body? Well, my favorite, to be honest with you, my favorite part of me right now is my titties. Like, I love them. Like, right now, I, I, just, I, I love them. I see. And I love my thighs. I love how, how thick my thighs are. You know, I love my thighs. I, even when I work out, like, I'll do the leg thing and do like that. Or whatever. If you can see me doing, you know, you, do, you lift your leg and this little muscle right here. I just love Outside of, like, before we even get to porn and everything like that, outside of porn, like, when you're not doing anything, what do you like to do in your free time? I am so homebody. You homebody? Truth, like, like, for real, for real. I be in the house, man. I be in the house. I love TV. So, I, I love TV. I watch TV, and I eat when I'm supposed to eat, and I just be chilling until I get called on set, and 
that is what it is. You know, I might do a little something, something over the side over here. Somebody wanted want me to at their strip club. I might go. I might pop in and out of a strip club every now and then. Okay. Every now and then. You know what you look like? You look like you like to fight. That's what you look like. You like you like to fight. Give me one second. All I'll right. be right back. All right. Don't look so, you know, I'm a lazy nigga. I'm not finna edit this. I'ma just talk. Um, shout out to her, man. She done came through with the whole goddamn get up and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't know if this is an interview okay, or... Okay, she here. I can't talk too much. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, you like you like to fight a lot, man. That's what you look like. You like you like to... Be, like, you... Could you do... I'm gonna tell you why you like you like to fight. You do a lot of, like, head movements and... Child, I'm finna goddamn cook me some food. That's what girls like doing. They like to fight. Where you from? Where you from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. Oh, you're from Florida? I'm from Florida. That's crazy. Where you from? I'm from Duval. Oh, you're from Jacksonville. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You talk like you're from Florida. That's why I was like, where are you from? I thought you were probably from Florida. I'm from Tampa, born and raised. You still out there? No, I'm, 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 I am stay in Atlanta. Mm. How you yeah. like it out there? I, I love Atlanta. Better than Florida? What made you want to get into porn then? Uh, well, I've been in the sex industry for a very long time. So, you know, you go through stages in life. So, shit, I might as well go with, with the big fucks. You know, I've been stripping. I went through one. I've been stripping for years. Then, you know, then you just, then I went from stripping to camming. And then, you know, I was like, let me just get in this porn. You know, I, I'm in this industry already. I might as well put my foot all the way in it. See, now... Hmm, where do I want to go with this? Uh, I'm going to go there real quick. I'm just a little quick deviation. You say you might as well put your foot all the way in it. So I interviewed Go Go Fuck Me a couple of days ago. And yeah, speak, mm-hmm. speaking of putting things in two things, she told me that um, every nigga that she's been with, like outside of shooting scenes, she, she's put her finger up their butt. All right. And she said that's been cool uh-huh. with that. So I want to know, are you, huh? That's believable. Are you one of those type of things? No, 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 I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about, I'm talking about you. Are you a... Yo, yeah, I done stuck my thing on plenty of men's asses. Do you think they a little sweet? Because I think that's a little sweet. I don't think it's sweet at all. I just think um, you in the heat of the moment, shit happens. That shit feel good, shit. <laughs> that's not what it is. There's nothing sweet about that's it. That's crazy. I, I mean, you know, I don't think nothing sweet about it, no. You don't think so? Uh, that's a little, that's a little next level for me. I will say that. Well, well, I can say I don't. I, I can say this. I won't look at you differently. I just put it like that. I have no. I won't look at you no different. So, so you. So you t- that, that's a big fetish of mine, anyway. That's my little fetish. You know, everybody have their own little kink. That's my kink. So your kink is putting your fingers in another nigga booty. What is some if other? You back, if you go back to my hometown, I swear people would tell you that. <laughs> they would tell you. They would like, man, y'all let me keep y'all screwing around with celebrities. You know she on that, she be on that gay shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, let me go so back. The to... word went around. <laughs> I see. Hold on. So let me go back to that. So also, I've been asking uh, porn stars, do you? love sex because i feel like if to be a porn star you might have to love sex some people say no some people say yes what's your answer to that um i'm a very sexual being Mm -hmm. i am sex sex is i have always been a sexual person so it's a part of me it is 
what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sex, sex is me in and out. So I love sex. I, I mean, yeah, it's 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 just me. So you a freak? Is that is that cool to say? Yeah, I'm, I'm very freaky. You say you into weird stuff or you know kinky things like that. What are other things that you're into? That's your only weird thing that you into? That's my only weird thing. Like I just I don't know men asses just turn. I like men ass. I always have been into men's ass, but that's my only um kink kink I have. Um, be careful with screwing me because you might do get a little thing in your booty. <laughs> You got to chill out. Somebody going to, like, elbow you or something like that. Like, it might be the reaction. Yet. You, you know, you... I ain't going to rape nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, a nigga, a nigga. I don't force it. But no, my thing, a nigga instinct, like, a nigga might, you might touch a nigga booty a little too close. Nigga be like, hey, chill out. A nigga might not mean to do it, but a nigga just might. It's ways to, it's ways to, to inch. It's ways to go around it to break them in kind of slowly. How do you, how do you break it in? I mean, you can start off by giving them some head, some good sloppy ass head. Go down to the balls. You know, you reaching, you sucking, and you fit squeezing the balls all at the same time. Talking about that head, real good. You know, and the finger might slip down there as the slide going down. It's already lubricated, and your finger already right there grabbing on the balls. You might just fall up in there, you know, or my tongue might fall up in there, and then next thing you know, your your leg behind you. No, 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 that's not the next thing. <laughs> Yo, you know how to, you know how to nigga legs between his, between his head? Oh, in the butt, all that. On all fours. <laughs> Listen, I got the whole package. I got the whole package. So are you, would you say like you're the submissive or the dominating one? Cause you sound really dominating. You know what? A lot of people say that about me. I can be both. Mm. I can really turn into both. A lot of people take me as dominant, but I can be very submissive. Are you one of those uh, women that, like, you like to talk during sex? Like, you talk a lot of shit? You like that? Hell yeah. So I got a female friend. Um, She's kind of like, how can I say this? She's kind of, like, awkward a little bit. So even in just, like, regular, 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 regular conversation, she might be a little, like, hesitant to know what to say. So she was like, she's like, when I'm having sex, I don't be knowing what to say to the person. I be wanting to talk, but I don't want to say nothing weird to ruin the moment. What do you say? Like, like if you had to give her an advice, what would you say? It ain't going to be weird to ruin the moment. Just um, be natural. You ain't supposed to think about what you're saying when you having sex. Just spit that shit out because... Man, you don't know what a bitch doing behind closed doors. There's some freaky, nasty motherfuckers out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? You saying some old little freaky shit in the, in the motherfucking end would not hurt nothing. Do you have a go-to thing that you say that you like, I don't know, something that you always repeat to a nigga? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say once it, once he slip up inside me and, I, and, you know, I start feeling. I go by what I'm feeling. So I let it come naturally. It's never the only one particular thing that yeah. I'll say is just when I'm horny and I'm feeling it and I'm wet and he's fucking me good and he's pounding his pussy so good mm-hmm. whatever pops up in my mind that's what I'm say. That's interesting you bring it up. You say it's just natural. Like whenever you put it in, it just like come in your brain. Have you ever been on a scene where the nigga wasn't doing the job and you kind of had to fake stuff? Like you had to fake say stuff to just like make the scene interesting? Um. You don't got to put a nigga on blast. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm going to make this thing interesting. I, I You know, it's, it's been time where guys, you know, they're probably not all their selves coming in or coming on set, which is okay because for girls, it's easy for us. It's very easy. All we got to do, you know, we got to hold out. You got to just put your dick in us. We good. But some guys might not come all together when they come on set, but that's fine. We get through it. Um, my sex is always gonna be good because you know I, I I make anything out of nothing. I'm gonna make something out of nothing. Believe that. I just want to s- get the shot. Trust me. I just want to say I wish more women would like you. Like I know so many girls because like I, I think I could tell when a girl like a freak or whatnot and. I know girls who be like trying to play like they not a freak. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, stop being like that. You, you're open about it. You say you're a sexual being. I wish more, more women were like confident in who they are. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you being like that. That's what it is. A lot of people at my 
inspire me for my confidence in who I am. Because I've been like this for, for a long time, and a lot of females have came to me, and they were like, I wish I could do this. I wish I could be open like you. I just wish, you know, I could be free like you. Like, you don't give a fuck. Like, no, like, why? <laughs> I don't. I, I'm who I am. And so, I love who I am. So in school, were you considered, like, the freak? <laughs> like, were you ashamed of that in school, or were you? I, I, I got a pass. Were you ashamed of that in school? You know where I am today in this porn. Mm -hmm. Like it's proved from somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like when, because you're so confident today. Were you always that confident, like in school? Like, yeah, I'm a hoe. Like I pop my pussy. I, I was I was wild. You was wild. Are you the same way today, would you say? Um, I do it with more, um, I, I do it with more, more poise with myself. You know, I know who I am now. Hmm. I do it, I, I walk, a, I walk differently, I talk differently. You know, my goals are in life are different, you know, but I got the same freak still in me. It's just I handle myself in these streets differently than I did back in them days. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely feel I still got the same freak, but I handle myself differently now. Like, you know, you can still walk past me and you can feel that sexual energy. Mm -hmm. Every myself, like, you're very, you got very high, my sex appeal has very, I got a lot of sex appeal. Mm -hmm. So you can tell by me walking in the streets, like, dang, she's a very sexual person. Or, mm -hmm. hey, she looks like a freak. You can tell it. But, you know, you know, I ain't out here. How I was like I ain't screwing everybody and everything. Like, to be really honest with you, the only time I really really have sex is when I'm on camera. Mm. Do you? Is that by choice or is that? Well, I'm, I'm assuming that's by choice. That um, you only have sex on camera. I have sex with anybody I want to. Yes, yeah, by choice, and it, it just makes it even better, anyways. You know. Are you looking for? When I save it, like when I know I got a shoot coming up in two weeks, I probably won't have sex for the next two weeks. I won't even masturbate. Like no matter how time many times I wake up really horny and just want to pull out my toys, just get off from my toy. You know, I'll wait and I'll hold it in for the whole two weeks. Would you say that you you want a nigga? Or you don't want no nigga right now. I ain't studying no niggas, no. <laughs> oh, I feel that. I feel that. Um, I also have some fan questions that uh people asked. Let's get into those real quick. Um, Anthony, shout out to Ampavelli, he says, Have you ever experienced racism in the industry? No, not yet. Not yet. If it is some um, no. Have I you heard it is. You heard stories? I heard stories, yes, with companies and stuff. But me, no, no, not yet. Would you do one of those scenes where like it's like a, um, I don't know what they're called, but it's like a whole bunch of white men. And they're like, oh, take this uh nigger girl. Like, would you do one of them scenes? Uh, ghetto gagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind. That's crazy. <laughs> Why would you set yourself up for that? I, I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, I, I love to try new things, different things. It, it should be fun. Like, I mean, I love to try different things. You know, I love to try different things. Call me a nigga on my pussy wet. <laughs> That's crazy. Seriously. Oh my god. You know, hold on, time out, man. When I come to this field, disgrace the most. Child, I'm different. Cause, like so, so you like when niggas talk that real, real raw shit to you when you in bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sure. That's funny. Sure. That's funny. You know, you know what you need to do. I feel but like. I've never been in that predicament, though. Mm -hmm. Like, you white man calling me out my name. I never really. Like I, 
I was gonna say you. I feel like you should do more. Um, I don't know how to put this. You should do more with your personality. I feel like you could do like some some comedy related stuff. You ever thought about that? No, no. Everybody tell me I'm funny, and I don't even be trying to be funny. They be like, "Girl, you," and I just be sitting there like stale faces, and they be like, "You, you dead ass serious?" Yeah. Everybody tell me that. Like I be thinking you plan throughout this interview, you dead serious with the shit you be saying. So have you like? Would you consider that? Because I feel like you could make some money doing some like entertainment stuff. You you obviously about the money. So if you could just show your personality, I feel like you should do that, man. Thank you. I'm flattered. I'm flattered. But you know, I got to stick to what I know. I know this. I know this industry right here. I know this sex industry like the back of my hand. So I'm good at what I do. So I try to stay in my own lane. Hey man, if you ever come to Florida again, I need to make a video with you on some like comedy shit. I'm telling you, it'll be hilarious. I'm telling you, like going around like the city and fucking around with people. I'm telling you, you seem like a natural. I could tell you'd be funny as hell with that. Thank you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Um, some more fan, huh? Thank you. No problem. Uh, some more fan questions. Uh, one from PRBZ. He says, uh, what do you have? Like, do you have any plans past porn? Yeah, I'm on my own, you know, I, you know, but let me tell you something, like, in my era, you know, I'm, I'm on Pinky and things like that, and, you know, uh, so me, of course, I want to own my own entertainment company, you know, I, I want to be, I want to be known like Pinky, I want to mm. be big like Pinky, you know, Pinky not shooting no porn no more, but I haven't seen anything, no. Yeah. but she has her own company, she got her own girls, or who, she pays the girls, who pays the talents. Or whatever, like that. She got her own thing going on, website, everything like that. That's the end goal for me, to have my own company. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to make a name for myself. I want to walk the red carpet. I want to win them awards. Mm-hmm. I want to be known in these porn streets. I want everybody to know my name. And, the, and like I said, the end goal, I want to run my own, uh, yeah, my own entertainment company. Yes. Shout out, to, shout out to Pinky. She's definitely doing her thing. I see she's directing. and yeah, she, she is the one you... you know, but when I was young, you know what I'm saying, looking at, you know, I was real horny back then. Pinky was the word on the street. Mm-hmm. You know, and it still is. People yeah. still fall back on her name. So that's what I want to do. Now, she out here doing stuff passport. Now, I seen her with the Nation of Islam niggas with the bean pies and shit. Wow. Yeah, she out here putting in work. So shout out to, uh, shout out to her. Up. Yeah, shout out to her. Um, I, I think that's about it for me. I don't know if you have anything else to say. Um, like I said, uh, you're, uh, you're the third point star I've interviewed, so I don't know if you want to end us off with something memorable. I don't know if you have anything else to say. Well, um, I can give you guys, my name is Celebrity Com, so that's Celebrity, C-E-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y, Com is C-U-M-M-S. You can Google me. They stay, um, they stay kicking me off Instagram. I'm going to get one. I'm just detoxing right now for my Instagram. It's going to shut down by four times. But you can Google me. It'll lead you to um, my Twitter, my Snapchat, uh, etc. Um, my movies, um, celebritycoms.minibids.com. Find my movies there. Um, just Google me, celebritycoms, C-U-M-M-S. I forgot to ask, why did you have that name? Well, okay, well, celebrity. When I was younger, um, I named myself Celebrity back when I was in the strip clubs. Mm. Um, so my name was always been Celebrity because, you know, I always wanted to be in the spotlight. I always wanted to be seen. I always wanted people to know who I was. So I named myself Celebrity. As I started venturing into the camming, mm-hmm. doing webcam, and into the porn, I put comes on the, as a last name. Um, I'm a big squirter. So that's why it's Celebrity Comes with two M's. And reference that I, you know, I squirt a lot. I'm a very big squirter. So, celebrity comes. That's All right, well, I got the name. I appreciate you. I live up to that name now. That name, that name represents me all the way to the fullest. Okay, well, I appreciate you for coming on. Um, like I said, what, what type of outfit is that again? Is that a onesie? Yeah, just, just a little onesie. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just to throw on in the house. No, it's a, it's a hard outfit. Um... Yeah, like I said, just to walk around the house. Then. Not for you. I'm, I'm the same way. I don't anything walk around the house, but um, I got I got my little barn on came through. You know what I'm saying? It's just chilling entire right now. 
Like for real, I'm, I'm not. I ain't trying to put on. You know what I'm saying? Get all cute, or whatever. Just put. You know what I'm talking about, man. Pretty, pretty much, man. Real Florida shit. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. Players gonna play.